My name's Matthew Keeble and we're back at my old high school today doing Psy Technology High School. When I was at school, I wasn't the best behaved student. One stage I was asked to leave school. Once I returned back to high school, they had a program at Doonside High School called the AFL Indigenous Academies. Um, playing rugby league all my life, I thought it was all heavily AFL involved, where that wasn't the case. I signed up to this program and I had the support of the AFL Indigenous Academies manager at the time to help me complete school. Going back with the AFL Indigenous Academies manager at the time, we formed a good friendship and he helped guide me through high school. From there, I, I was fortunate enough to complete my year 11, year 12. Then I was fortunate enough to take on an opportunity with the AFL. I've been with the AFL for six years now through this program as a mentor and basically giving back to uh, the future generations. I grew up in a broken household and I know some of these kids are going through the same challenges and issues I was faced with and we're here to help them overcome those challenges through, I guess, our program and other providers we bring in. All our staff here are Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander and we, we know these issues and if it's not us who have gone for them, it's family members who have gone for them and we're trying to give these kids a safe haven to come talk to us and we will help them kids overcome it. Well, we were one of the pilot programs when it first started. Um, we've had lots of kids go through there. We've even had students that have gone through there that are now have joined the AFL, um, helping and supporting our school. It's great for our um, retention kids, with kids uh, attending the school. They know if they muck up, I'll go in, I'll go, hey, you go on AFL this afternoon? Yeah. Well, you won't be if you keep mucking up. I'll ring your parents. And they stop straight away and they, they, they do love it. And the parents like it too. I have kids coming up to me all the time. What's going on this week? What's AFL doing this week? We've got an update. They, they'll come to school, especially on that Wednesday, because they know they can go to AFL Thursday afternoons. So I find their, their attendance is really good. Um, Shana and, and that, um, Uncle Charlie, all of them, they can sit down and have a few yarn with the kids. They, they personally, they, they could talk to them, know about their education and keep them here at school. And I feel like this week for those kids <laughs> with Maddie. Oh my God, do I love Maddie. <laughs> In fact, this year I've got 106 Aboriginal kids. I've been here for only 23 years. I've had lots of Aboriginal and then non-Aboriginal kids. And do you know what? They, when I see them coming from students saying, oh, you won't be anything when you get older. And seeing what Maddie and have turned into today, I've been, I've got the biggest smile from here to here.